Shanti Niketan in Birbhum district adjoining the district of Murshidabad in West Bengal needs little introduction. This abode of peace, approximately 200 kilometers from Kolkata, is where Nobel laureate Rabindranath Tagore nurtured his vision of an ideal school and education. The Tagore family settled here after Maharshi Devendranath Tagore bought land here and constructed a retreat center in 1863. Shanti Niketan gradually developed into a great center of learning after his son Rabindranath Tagore introduced the Brahmacharya Ashram school in 1901. The school was fashioned after the ancient Indian Gurukul tradition. Children were made to study close to nature in a natural environment. Pupils of classes 8 to 10 still continue to study this way, holding their classes under the open skies. The main medium of instruction is Bengali and English, one of the subjects. When Rabindranath Tagore began this form of education, the Shanti Niketan Brahmacharya Ashram, with just five pupils more than a century ago, he confessed that he had little idea of how this was going to be. It was something he felt was more like a seed which grew into a plant and that you could not separate the seed from the plant. And very much like that, a century on, this form of education continues to flourish here in Shantiniketan. While the Shantiniketan school was started at the inception of the Swadeshi movement, Tagore later added Vishwa Bharati to build friendship with nations at the end of the First World War. This despite the non-cooperation movement. Together with Vishwa Bharati, Tagore's thoughts on education was complete. Fifteen years after the establishment of the first school here, Tagore began to feel the need for a center of culture where the East would meet with the West to foster mutual understanding between the peoples of the two worlds. Thus was born the seed of Vishwa Bharati, a, a center where many research and higher studies in diverse subjects ranging from Hindu philosophy to Chinese literature, Persian, Arabic, Latin, and German were introduced. Where we are now is Kala Bhavan, which was established in 1921 for fine and performing arts. In fact, today Kala Bhavan is perhaps one of the many centers here which continues to live up to these ideals of where the East and the West meet. It attracts many international students and has produced many renowned artists from this part. Vishwa Bharati was to be an expression of India's other soul, that which would represent India's hospitality to the world. Guided by these precepts, Shanti Niketan became a great center of learning, attracting many learned scholars. Amongst them, the most eminent scholars being early 20th century French historian Sylvan Levi, educationist Moritz Winternitz, Vincent Lesney, Stan Kono, Carlo Formici, and malarologist Dr. Harry Timbers. In return, the university has given to the world leaders like Indira Gandhi, Satyajit Ray, and Nobel laureate Amartya Sen. The other ideal that Tagore upheld was one of total activity to make education relevant to life. To achieve this, he set up a center for rural reconstruction at Surur village, calling it Sri Niketan. He was convinced that an education without the knowledge of rural India and without effort to rejuvenate rural life was incomplete. One of the several institutions to be added to Shanti Niketan after the death of the poet in 1941 was in fact this Rabindra Bhavan amongst the first. Here the works of the great poet are reposited and it is now a world center for the study of the lives and works of Rabindranath Tagore. Let's go in and take a look. <laughs> Kuler bagan, vano ghasir, porve shodja vano vashir, shaulai se ghir bedi ghir dhar gulai, kako namai nai vamo ne rakhle, tarar pane che che, nai vaya mai dakhle. The Tagore Museum displays some of the poet's personal belongings, but sadly amongst them not the Nobel Prize medal, which he received in 1913 for his work of versus Gitanjali. The original was stolen in 2004 and now in its place a replica which has been given by Sweden's Nobel Foundation. While at Shanti Niketan, the house of Rabindranath Tagore is an important place that cannot be left out. Most of the things are still kept the same way and few alterations have been done to the place. 
the most enduring is the sense of peace that still prevails in its tranquil settings. In the words of the founder of Vishwa Bharati, the world's nesting place, this place was a perpetual creation of the enthusiastic cooperation between students and teachers. In it lay its past glory and its hope for the future. If you want this place to be listed in the seven wonders list of India, give your vote for Shanti Niketan.